how we doing today? I thought for this week, I went back and uh, refreshed myself on the lessons just to see how I would feel on the speed that we're going. And uh, I think at this stage of it, uh, we're coming up on the 11th lesson, and uh, I think it's time to get in a little more depth and, to, and stick on something that we started. And we're going to do that with this list right here. I'm going to hold it up and make sure that you have a copy of it where you know what it is. Okay, you should be able to get a copy of that. I had you write it down on the last one, so the, the last lesson, uh, you, you can look back on it again and look at it. Anywho, what I want to do today is uh, the bottom list of the two lines of chords there are, the are actually all in the key of C, except for one place where I have an F sharp. So I thought that would be the best place for you to start to uh, put together a creation. I know we were way back on the first part of uh, CFG. And uh, I know you've worked that probably to death, or if you haven't, it's okay too. Um, I, uh, I sat down here today, I mean uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday or day before, and I just uh, put something together, CFG, and uh, I called it uh, uh, slapping it around. And uh, so if you uh, go on, the, uh, on my channel, Keyboard Clark, uh, uh, you can take a look at that, and it's just CFG. And I'm using, of course, a part of the organ where I had taped a, a little session of my own stuff before and put it on there. And so every time you see me reaching up and hitting that, it's just a recording I did from, from earlier. But I just uh, jammed around for a few minutes. But, but that's basically CFG, that's all it is. And, I, and you'll notice I'm playing all those notes I said that you could play. And uh, if you're just starting, no way do I expect you to play like that. But that gives you an idea of where, where you can go if you can keep playing and practicing uh, that CFG sequence. Now, we're going to go to uh, these chords that I wrote down on the piece of paper, which I just showed you. And we're going to start with the, not the first uh, tier, but the second tier. So on each one of those sections, it'll be the the bottom uh, chords across and go clear to the bottom all the way down to D minor, D minor C. And what I want you to do, what I do, is I put up a group of chords first and then I sit down and play. And if I was going to sing that, what I would do is uh, I wouldn't play it the same. Um, if I'm going to play an instrumental, I'll make it an instrumental. I won't put a voice in it. But if I've got a voice, I've got to slow down or stop or have all the music slow enough so that I can add voice and it won't inter interrupt with somebody playing a lead. So that's what we're going to work on today. So it starts off with C, and that would be the, of course, left hand, the three notes, C, E, G, and then up here we got the same. Now, of course, we can add whatever we want to with it. But I'm going to go a little bit higher with it today, and I'm going to invert this C and go up here in a minute. But we'll take this C, and what you can do is uh, you can spread out these chords, or you can just take the chords and take them in the sequence they're in, just one after another, but space them out here and there and start putting words to them. In other words, start, uh, start singing with it. So if you were going to do that, you'd do something like this, but if I try to sing, I'll pass out. I'll run out of breath here. <laughs> so here we go. Now we're on A minor. Got to go back to C. Now that, that was D minor, now F. Now I'm down to E minor. Now we're on C. F, C again, G, F, and A minor. 
Now we'll start over again in the middle there. I'm just slowing down. F. C. G. Now F again. A minor. Now C. Then G minor. G. C. F. Now we have E minor, F, and G. E minor, F, G. Then you slide into C. Then the G. Then the F. Now I'm at F minor. Now I'm at C. C minor. C. Now I'm going to back to F. Now we're at G, G minor. That was C, of course, and G. Now we're going to end it. E minor, D minor. B diminished. Okay, so now starting up at the top again with C. Um, if we hit this and we hit one note, just one note only. I'm going to do one note again, going to A minor now. I'm going to go to C. In other words, you can take this hand and hit one note to start off with, and you can use your left hand to enhance what, what you're going to do. In other words, if you're singing and you want to just go da 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 da, and then and now you want to go to the next word, and the next word, next word. Word of course. See, you raised it all the way up to there by taking these chords and using the two together to get all the way up there. Now that's what I want you to work on this week, and that's it. That's all I want you to do. And I come up with a set of uh, uh, words, even if it's uh, "Mama, don't take my carrots away." Please don't take my carrots away. Whatever it is. <laughs> and have a little bit of fun. Okay, and uh, again, we're taking that list that we did from 10. I'll put it up again. Okay, and you just want to do something slow with uh, starting with the C and just go through the whole thing. And that's the bottom tier of each one of the, the sections all the way down. In other words, what I want you to do is work on this part, this part right here, each one, all the way down to the end. And put some words in there and practice singing it, playing at the same time and you'll find that all of a sudden you're getting inspired. Okay, so make it simple, just... Just 
keep it simple. And you can take and slow and start and stop and see what I'm doing here. And you can help yourself learn how to do that and get with it and, uh, and put words and sync to it. Okay, I'll see you next week. Thanks for dropping by. Bye-bye.